Two years ago, we met Jamie when she was involved in a custody battle with her own mother, Allison, over Jamie's two daughters. Now, Allison said she became an instant mom to her grandchildren when Jamie abandoned them for life on the streets as a prostitute and then breezed back through the door and said, these girls are mine. I learned that my daughter was involved in prostitution. Her choice was to choose the pimp over her children. And I told her, Jamie, if you choose this lifestyle, I cannot let you have your children. So why not give her her children back? They're her children. The answer is pretty obvious. She's a prostitute. I've been arrested for prostitution probably seven times. I started to use cocaine. I don't think prostitution is wrong. You were having sex with between 10 and 11 men a day. Sexual contact, yes. Or sometimes you were punished daily. I was put into a bathtub full of ice. If I tried to get out, I would get slapped or pushed back into the bathtub. I decided that I wanted to be with my girls. I checked myself into a local rehab and I got a job. For all intents and purposes, I have been the mother. And all of a sudden, when Jamie comes back to the house, she wants to play mom. Jamie hasn't been here. I have been here. When was the last time you were in contact with your pimp? A couple weeks ago, he contacted me. A couple me. weeks ago? Honesty, Jamie. You are he not contact. honest with me. What are you Two going to do Three about weeks it? Ago. What am I going to do about it? I'm going to call the do? Dr. Phil show. If Jamie doesn't follow the rules, Jamie is out. Did you give a pimp $700? I did, yes. He's extorting money from you. He was. I think you're a victim in many respects here. But what strikes me is you're saying, wow, you're so controlling. The last place you lived, they put you in an ice bath and Thank beat you. the crap out of you. I'm upset because you care more about my kids than you cared about me when I was young. Don't sit here and act like you've just been trying and trying and trying all these years. You haven't. I want help for myself. I don't want, I want help. You're in the right place. Well, Jamie and Allison say there have been some big changes in Jamie's life since they last were here. Before coming to Dr. Phil for help, my daughter Jamie was hopeless and lost. My life was in turmoil. Dr. Phil sent me to a 30-day program called Origins. I was pregnant at the time and it was the motivation I needed to turn my life around. At Origins, I learned that other people rely on your support. It's been two years and Jamie's progress has been tremendous. Before the show, I couldn't trust Jamie with anything. But now, she's been honest, she's been forthcoming. I am so proud of her. Got your braces in there, or something in there? No, Before the Dr. Phil show, I had 100% custody of my grandchildren. After the Dr. Phil show, we went back to court and she now has 50% custody of her children. Before, I felt I was completely responsible for the girls, but now, I have freedom. I'm thankful that she gets to start living her life and I get to continue my life with my family, which makes me feel amazing. I look forward to the day that I can give her 100% custody. I see a future where I didn't see one before. I started a nonprofit organization called Sisters of the Streets to help women out of the sex industry. I did my first purse project outreach a couple weeks ago walking around just to see if I can find any girls that may be out here working. Everything's donated. We have regular, you know, shampoos, conditioners, little bags for your makeup. If I can get out, then they surely can too. I want to thank Dr. Phil for letting me know that I'm important and taking the time to help our family. Wow, wow, wow. wow, wow. It is so good to see you, and it's so good to hear what's going on with you, too. It's uh, great to be back. Thank you. Yeah, that's an amazing update. So tell me, when you, when you left here, uh, you, you had a steep hill to climb. Uh, what was the hardest thing for you? There was a lot of difficult things, but yeah. I think the hardest thing, thank you, was I didn't realize how hard it would be to get back into normalcy. 
and just um, a lot of things that I think people do on a daily basis that I didn't know how to do. I had to learn how to be an adult. I had to learn how to be a woman. I had to learn how to be a mom again. It's been two years, and I'm just now getting to the point where I absolutely trust her. I, I know that her focus is on her family. And I really appreciate you coming back and sharing this. Thank it, you, it Dr. It means Trump. a lot. All right. Thank you.